Good afternoon. Well, I, I mean, first of all, I would like to thank um, David, uh, Maxim, and the team to invite us again um, to this wonderful conference. Uh, a few months ago, we were in Bangkok. It was very successful. And then now, I can even see a much more successful event. But obviously, they gave me a very challenging task to have a speech after, right after lunch. I think this is very difficult and very challenging, but I hope that we'll be able to share with you some of the new things that's happening in TapJoy and how TapJoy looks at the world of um, mobile developers. So my name is David. I'm the business owner for TapJoy in Greater China, uh, including mainland China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. But for the past uh, few months, we have been actively looking and seriously looking at the Southeast Asia market. That's why I have been in Bangkok, Indonesia, and now in Vietnam for my first time. Uh, because we can feel the energy and the momentum of this market. So I think this morning, a lot of other speakers, they already shared with you um, a lot of data about uh, the Vietnam market. Obviously, most of the audience here are from Vietnam, so you know much more better than us. And, and when we compare, actually, the data and the growth momentum between the Vietnam market and Chinese market, I think we, have, we see a lot of similarities. The growth of smartphone, the adoption of uh, mobile games. Uh, this morning, like David mentioned that most of the Vietnamese friends, they have like two smartphones. So all of these actually drive the market to grow very rapidly for the past two years. You, if you look at the number of local titles, the number of developers here. And obviously, I mean, among the Southeast Asian uh, region, Vietnam already produced a very well-known popular games uh, last year. But I think deep in the heart of every publisher, regardless whether you're in Vietnam or whether you're in China or US, I think we have a very, very common challenge is how do we monetize? How do we get money from our, paying, uh, from our game users? I think this is a very, very important question. When you first design a game, how you can include all the monetizing, monetization factors into your design? We have seen a lot of different examples, a lot of publishers that work with us, very similar games, but their monetization, monetization results are very different. So I hope Today, I will be able to use a few minutes to share with you uh, how TapJoy looks at this matter. So I think, uh, well, I'm not so sure how many, I mean, of you have heard or worked with TapJoy. Um, basically, in the past, when people mention about TapJoy, they always think of one thing, all for war. Uh, that we basically uh, push advertisement in the all for war to your game users. But that was like five, six years ago, TapJoy developed a model called Mobile Value Exchange that tied the advertisers, publishers, and the users in a very closely knit relationship. But two years ago, actually, we start to feel the market change. We start to feel that the, actually the publishers' needs, the advertisers' needs, and the users' needs are different. So we reposition our company, and our goal is very simple now is to make sure that every user of your game, you are able to maximize the return from them. And in particular, we are very focused on freemium games, not pay games. Well, as everybody knows, freemium games basically occupies 90, 95% of all the game categories. So how can we do that? How can we help you to focus on every user? We are not talking about a bunch of users of very loose decategorization, but every user of, the, of your gaming community. So we are the first platform in the world that combine market, mobile marketing automation and monetization. And if you look at all this, and why we are able to say so, because you can have the best of both worlds only in one SDK, in one product. That means you can monetize, you can market, and you can also advertise in one SDK. 
And we are not only doing analysis. A lot of companies in the industry, they offer you analysis of your past results. But they never able to tell you what will happen tomorrow, or one week later, or 14 days later. And we are able to help you to segment your users into different groups that you can help, that you can are able to push different marketing messages to them. Not manually, but automatically. You can set a routine, you can set the date, you can set the time. And all in all, we want to achieve one thing again, is to help you to fully monetize your user base. And why we are able to do so, is all about data science or all about the algorithm be behind the platform. All you see from our dashboard is the different uh, data, different figures, graph, what representation of your users that are playing your games. But why we are able to say we are able to predict, we are able to analyze is because Tapjoy has been in the industry for almost eight years. We have accumulated a lot, a lot of data that allow us to calculate, to forecast. Every day we have more than two million ad engagement in the world. And we work for we work with thousands of thousands of mobile developers for the past eight years. Our reach is more than a billion devices and monthly active users is over five hundred million. And I think all this differentiate ourselves with a lot of new upcoming ad platform because everything now relies on big data analysis. If you don't have the size of the data, you can't analyze, you can't predict as well. And why we are able to also collect so many data? Of course, we have a large user base, we have been in the industry for a long time, but in the same time, we keep on evolving our ad product. We keep on evolving the number of different ad formats that help you to help the developers or help our brand advertisers to target. So in the, in, from the beginning, we started with offer wall, with multiple offers uh, within the offer wall so that the users, your users can choose. Then we have full screen in Teriso. We now have video ads, rich media, and also banner ads. And in particular, video ads, the growth rate is almost year over year more than 100%. This is the future. This is the future that really easily attract the eyeballs of the users. And for the past eight years, we worked with all the top game developers in the world. And this is why, I mean, we have built a very mutual trust and relationship between uh, the platform and the game developers and their users. And this is all just some very general results that based on advertising, based on a lot of optimization, that a lot of developers, a lot of publishers, they are seeing incremental revenue for 10 to 30% upwards, higher ECPMs. And more importantly, actually, a lot of you, for example, you worry that advertising will chase your users away. But as a matter of fact, if you based on a lot of analysis, on our historical data. This is not true. If you're able to, 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 to file the right advertisement at the right time, at the right moment to your users, it will actually increase your user time spent in your game. So I encourage you to actually start thinking about it if you haven't, because First of all, I would like to explain why and how you understand your users. A lot of companies, they look at their revenue, they look at the average uh, uh, ARPU per user, but unfortunately, if you only look at the revenue of your IAP, the revenue generated by those users, you are only looking at less than 4% of your whole user community. Because from a lot of research, regardless of from different market research company or the one that we did internally, only 4% of the 
of your users are paying to be in the game. So what happened to the 96%? In the past, there is no tool. There was no tool to help you to separate the 4% and the 96%. That's why you were worried that, okay, if I introduce advertisement, it will affect the 4%. But now I think we have the tools. We have the right tools for you to adopt. And when we talk about this 4%, are you able to identify who are the first paying users, second paying users, or third paying users? From statistics, actually this graph shows that over 50% of your 4%, they only pay one time or two times. So that means actually the remaining 50%, about 2% of the overall user community, they will be your loyal payers. So and again, I think the message is here is, how can we help you to identify the 94% or 96%? If you can extract, for example, 20% or 30% of this 96%, imagine the amount of revenue you can generate from your game without doing any changes. So, in the following slides, I, will, I would like to share with you what are the features in our platform that will allow you to do so. Of course, because of limited time, we will not be able to show you the full demo, but we have our booth outside, and if you are interested, yeah, I will be happy to to set up a section to show you how actually we do it. So when you talk about the solution for monetization, we are talking about four steps. First of all, we analyze, and then we predict, and then we target and optimize. One year ago, actually, TapJoy has never been in the analytic market. And because we are driven by the goal that we want to provide the best value to you to get the maximum value for your users, so we acquired another company that do analytics. And what attracts us about that company, which is a Korean company, is that they are not only analyzed, they are not only doing analysis on your past data. It is very easy to do analysis on your past data because those are already there. But this company that attract TapJoy to acquire them in full and build an integrated product with our ad platform is they are able to have a, a logarithm that predict your user's behavior based on the past data. I believe that you, you all have a lot of analytic tools either in-house or using external suppliers, but you can think about. Do those tools that they are, you are using right now allow you to predict for the future. So in terms of analysis, we do a lot of different analysis, the basic analysis like ARPU and all this, but we also allow you to graphically very easily to manipulate the comparison of different groups. For example, I mean the same uh, paying users in Vietnam versus uh, your same group of paying users in China. What is the difference? And for example, the overall IAP uh, users' behavior versus those who pay after they've passed the first level. So we have a lot of different comparisons so that you can know actually your users' behavior within the game. So it's not generalizing that you only have certain percentage of users, you, they only generate certain amount of money, but help you to really go down in more details. And as I mentioned just now, it's the predictive part that is the most valuable. And actually we have developed what we call a future value map for all of your users. So while well, we categorized, for example, uh, different type of users, wheels, dolphins, and all this. But how do we know, for example, for the past two weeks, this guy is spending a lot of money, will he or she continue to spend money? And based on all this, a logarithm, we come up with actually a graph, what we call life value map, that shows you, okay, 
how many percentage or how many users will ever be willing to buy or to pay for IAP? And how many of them are actually uh, are real users? For example, if you look at 50, 55,628, these users, for sure, they will not purchase any IAP. So they will be the perfect batch of people that you address the right advertisement to them. Because they will more than welcome to receive rewarded virtual currency to continue to play the game or to use those currency they earned to, to, to buy more weapons within the game. And within actually the paying community, some of the paying users, they will pass away after two weeks or two months. And some of the users with the right message, you will be able to attract them to move upwards to spend a little bit more. I don't believe in the marketplace right now you, will, you can find a tool that has allowed you to understand all these aspects. And I think this is the value of the TapJoy integrated platform, that you will be able to analyze each user behavior, know what, how much will they spend or how much will they not spend, and address the appropriate other method to help you to monetize from them. And as I say, very importantly, it's only one single SDK. You don't need to integrate multiple SDK. And once you've identified different group of users, for example, user A, they make a few IEP purchases in the past few weeks. Then you can address some promotional marketing messages to them to attract them to spend more, to give them a little bit more discount to buy certain items that you know that they are in need. User B, for example, they have never request for any IAP. So maybe you can push advertisement, ask them, okay, well, how about you watch a video at, from Samsung or from other APP providers or do a survey to earn certain coins. Since they never purchase any IAP, I think they will be warm and willing to do certain actions to earn those currencies. And also we have the possibility that a lot of, to wake up a lot of dormant users in your user community that, for example, they have downloaded your games one month, two months, three months ago, and after one week, they basically never active again. But we are able to call them back. Or maybe you are able to drive some marketing campaign to wake them up and to be back to the game. So maybe they will become your advertising generated user community. Or maybe they will be interested because your game has gone through a few revolutions that they may be able to, are willing to buy some weapons or some IAP within the game. And all these, it sounds very complicated, but all these are automated in our platform. So that means for user A, I want to give him a promotion on July 11 at 11 a.m. You just set in your system. And it's a group of those users together collectively. And user B, okay, I want to push video advertisement to them at a certain time. You can do so automatically so that actually it helps to optimize the operational efficiency. You don't need a lot, a lot of operational people to take care of all the scheduling. And since it is all automated, you can, for example, address the users in multi-locations. Not only in Vietnam, if your games are rolling out in US uh, and Europe with different time zones, how can you ask your operational people to stand by 24 hours, days, 24 hours a day to schedule all this? So our platform will allow you to schedule all these activities automatically within a few clicks. So as I say, this only gives you an overall view of what we are able to do. But I think the main purpose is that we are a platform that help you to monetize for all of your users. So there are a few case studies that I would like to share with you. For example, GRI recently 
have a case studies released by Venture Beat uh, on the game uh, for Kingdom Age. Uh, basically, what they do is they do a lot of um, A-B testing within our system that tests what kind of currency or what kind of promotional tactics their users are most attracted to. And by doing so, because our platform is so easily automated, they generated 90% more in advertising revenue. And they can push 11% more people to get on advertising. And this is all because of the right targeting and pushing the right advertisement at the right time. Another case study is that trigger. Uh, again, it's all use a lot of different methodologies to use. Revenue and retention. I think retention is always the key concern for all of you. So, get the right tool will help you to decide really how to get the your most valuable playing users to spend more time in your game. So if you want to see a demo, we are outside in booth 23. So I welcome and look forward to see you in the booth. And we have a team there. Or you can go actually to our website and then you can download more information. And this is our key contact point. So thank you very much and hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, David.